seems like web-based writing environments are all the rage. The giant gorilla in the space is Google Docs, but there are plenty of other choices if you want something more focused on novel writing. There's Noveler, which I've already reviewed, Wavemaker, and Plot Factory, just to name a few. They all have a few things in common, like cloud storage that makes multi-device sync transparent, which I like, and pay forever subscription pricing, which I don't like. Dapple is another competitor in this field. They claim to be Scrivener without the learning curve. I don't know about that because I don't think Scrivener had that steep of a learning curve, but it is useful to talk about because they do incorporate some of the most useful features from Scrivener. The excellent nested, draggable organization that lets writers compose and organize in acts, chapters, sections, volume, or whatever you want to call them. You can create as many sections as you'd like, drag them around the navigation bar to reorder them, and it just works. Working out of order creates uh, placeholder scenes, and that is a great benefit for fiction writers who want to make up broad parts of the story and the plot as they go. I strongly recommend that kind of workflow for people working on pretty much any kind of fiction writing. You can also use this area to hold notes on world building, locations, or whatever else you want. You can create a folder with notes on how your system of magic works, complete with a subfolder on the history of magic, important people in that history of magic. Do you want a folder for all of the esoteric research that you're doing so you can keep notes on the exact difference between a small sword and a side sword? Sure, why not? At this point, it might seem like I'm saying that the best thing about Dabble is that it does pretty much the same thing that Scrivener does, in which case the natural question is, why not just use Scrivener? And let me be clear when I say that my opinion is that Scrivener sets a really high bar for other software to beat. It's very feature-rich and highly affordable. Right now, Scrivener costs about $50 for a perpetual license on that software version. That means that like a lot of traditional software, you get patches and maybe some minor feature updates, but you have to pay for a numbered update. That's a very good price for a software that's as capable as Scrivener, and I can't give a stronger recommendation than to say that Scrivener has been my writing software of choice for all novel and short story work for the last year and change. Now in contrast, Dabble mostly uses a subscription model pricing. There is a perpetual license available, but it's pretty expensive, so I don't think that's going to be realistic for most people. There are tiers in their subscription prices that can increase or decrease the cost, but in my estimation, only the middle tier really makes sense. The highest tier doesn't add a lot of features, but the price jump is significant. The lowest tier is pretty cheap, but it doesn't have all of the planning tools, which is why you pay for a software like this in the first place. You do get cloud storage, which lets you sync devices, and you do get any feature updates included in the subscription price. But even so, you're talking about Scrivener being the cheaper option just after six months. So Dabble needs some kind of killer feature to put it over the bar that Scrivener has set. In Dabble's case, that killer app is the plot grid. This is a plot visualization and planning tool probably most famous because it's associated with J.K. Rowling of Harry Potter fame. The basic idea is that in a lot of larger fiction projects like novels, you might have multiple storylines going at a single time. You might have an A story and a B story, and you swap between them every now and then, for example, at every chapter break. Planning out these plots and knowing how far to advance each one before switching back, or keeping track of how it all fits together in the master timeline when you might have other overlapping events, flashbacks, or other timey-wimey kind of stuff going on, can be pretty tricky. Scrivener's equivalent is the corkboard, which is pretty good, but a little bit more annoying because objects on the corkboard are static in location. It's a good way to see the big picture, but it's not as versatile as the plot grid, particularly because the corkboard layout doesn't allow empty spaces. Everything is just auto-populated by the computer. So you can't create arrangements that show gaps in time where nothing is happening, or group index cards together in order to show relationships. 
Overall, I find the plot grid a really useful planning and organization tool. The implementation is pretty intuitive and it encourages writers to use plot structures that can be intimidating or unwieldy for a lot of people. It's a good enough feature that I could recommend Dabble on the foundation of strong Scrivener-like composition and notes tools plus the plot grid. That's enough. But if you're looking for more, Dabble does have some other things that you may want. There's a fairly straightforward tracking system that tells you how much you've been writing over the last few days to track general progress, and a goal setting system to go along with it. If those little psychological things are important to you, then the bizarre way that Dabble has of showing a quotation related to writing on opening the software might be appreciated, though personally I kind of wish I could just turn them off. Dabble also has pretty good features for quality of life. I typically like to use the dark mode because it causes me less eye strain over long periods of time. But if you want something brighter, there is a light mode available, and the software can also switch between these based on your operating system settings. One thing I don't like about a lot of web-based writing software is the lack of a traditional top menu. This leaves us with a lot of ersatz ways of doing things, like formatting, underlining, and bolding, which Dabble also shows. I find this stuff a little bit fiddly, and maybe I'm kind of old school, but I'd rather just have a top menu with lots of buttons and reminders for keyboard shortcuts. But a lot of people say they like this kind of view because it's more sleek, and they say it gets out of the way of writing. If you really want to have a minimal workspace, use the focus view mode, or you can also use the auto fade in Dabble, which fades out the menu automatically after a few seconds to leave you alone with your thoughts in the cold and empty void. But don't worry, as soon as you move the mouse, the comforting UI comes back in full force to anchor you back in reality. Dabble also has the ability to accommodate a workflow that includes mobile devices. There's a mobile version of Dabble that's web accessible, and it works reasonably well on the iPad. The cloud sync is fast and seamless. It works exactly the way that you'd expect and want it to. There are a few things about Dabble that I'm not a huge fan of. The biggest thing is the first paragraph isn't indented by default, and the tab key does not indent paragraphs. In fact, as far as I can tell, the tab key doesn't do anything at all when you're inside the main composition area. Now, that's not as bad as a software like WaveMaker, where the tab key sends you into formatting options and stops you from writing until you get back into that composing area, but it's still unintuitive if you're used to paragraphing manually. This is a problem that a lot of writing-based software has uh, for that web-based model, and it drives me crazy. The product roadmap shows that the developers for Dabble are aware that people might want more control over the paragraphing, so maybe there's hope for the future, but in general, I'm not holding my breath. Despite all of that little stuff, I think Dabble is a really capable writing environment. I'm thinking about using it for a few months to see how it does for me as a daily driver over a longer period of time with a novel project, so I can definitely recommend it for anybody who's looking for something different. Dapple has a two-week free trial, and that's not bad at all. I hope you give writing with it a try, and I hope you write a lot.